let's talk about Will Benson and you Darvish up next on Fantasy Baseball Today in 5. Welcome into FBT in 5 on Saturday, March 9th. I am Frank Sample, joined by Scott White, the players we haven't talked enough about. First up, Will Benson, ADP of 319.4, 73rd outfielder off the board. Last year hit 275 with 11 homers, 19 steals, and an 863 OPS. There's power, there's speed, obviously a great ballpark, good walk rate, 12%. 31% strikeout rate. So uh, I think we do have some questions, Scott, about the swing and miss. Interesting mm-hmm. skill set. Will he play enough? That's also a question. What do you think? Yeah, so the playing time question, we'll start there because that's the question for every Reds hitter, basically. Uh, we focus so much on the infield because that's where most of the talent is piping in. But the outfield, you know, if, if Spencer Steer is getting pushed out there because of the infield surplus, then... How is that going to affect Jake Fraley and TJ Friedel and Will Benson, three left-handed hitting outfielders who put up some pretty interesting numbers last year? Friedel, I feel like, is the most uh, likely to to hold on to his spot there, tends to bat toward the top of the lineup. But I think Will Benson might be the second most likely. I think he, I think he's more talented than Jake Fraley, and I think the Reds know he's more talented than Jake Fraley. And while strikeouts are obviously a... Um, a, a, a potential something that could potentially derail him and also his struggles against left-handed pitchers uh his his work he's trying to address one of those at least i know i, I read he is taking as many at bats as he possibly can against left-handed pitchers um in side sessions or whatever else just trying to get more looks at them to hopefully improve his standing with all the reds depth i'm not sure there's going to be an opportunity for him to play much against lefties but you can't get better unless you're seeing lefties. So I like that step that Will Benson is taking. Uh, and if even if he just picks up where he left off last year, left off last year. I mean, those numbers you read off: eleven homers, nineteen steals, and three hundred twenty-nine plate appearances. That suggests twenty forty potential. I don't think he's going to get to twenty forty, uh, but fifteen thirty with as a platoon player. I, that seems perfectly plausible for Will, Be- Will Benson. He is in five outfielder leagues, especially emerging as a real sleeper for me. Let's talk about you, Darvish. The ADP is 178.6 as the 50th starting pitcher off the board, entering his age 37 season. Does he have one more bounce back left? Last year, 136 and a third innings, his lowest in a full season since 2018. He went on the IL in late August with right elbow inflammation. Turns out he had some uh, bone chips in that elbow. Didn't get it surgically repaired this offseason, but has not been limited, hasn't reported any pain. He's pitching in the spring. He's made two starts. Scott, there's lots of inconsistencies year to year with you, Darvish. He feels like one of these players that, you buy after a down year, and hopefully he returns value. Maybe you let someone else draft him when he's coming off one of those awesome seasons. What do you think about you, Darvish, this year? I'm kind of down on you, Darvish. I I understand there are some excuses. There's some excuse making for what happened to him last year between the the bone spurs in the elbow and kind of a strange buildup with the World Baseball Classic going on. I know some on the Padres beat have talked about that. And maybe it'll prove valid. I I can't say for sure. But you, Darvish is 37 years old now. And um, there were warning signs even in 2022. He went 16 and 8 with 310 ERA, but he had barely a strikeout per inning, which is not you, Darvish. Like, I mean, the you, Darvish, we remember was like 11K per nine, not nine per nine. Uh, And so that was a big drop off as for as good as the season was overall. And then last year, he turns out this season, which was just pretty much bad all the way around listen to the swinging strike rate decline for you darvish over the last few years too so in uh in 2020 that great year with the cubs it was 14.4 percent swinging strike rate the next year 12.1 then 11.4 then 10.7 last year again for a 37 year old that's 10.7 is bad and so uh, I, I don't know. It, it might just be a case of a pitcher on decline and no reversal in sight. Uh, I think Darvish is fine around the SP40 range, but I wouldn't go much higher, and I'm not that optimistic about a bounce back. Yeah, maybe I'm just reading too much into the name value of you, Darvish. Obviously, 
plenty of years having massive seasons, and it just feels so weird for him to be drafted as the 50th starting pitcher off the board, but he's getting up there in age. So like I said, this might just be part of the decline for you, Darvish. For more extensive fantasy baseball coverage, listen to the Fantasy Baseball Today podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, the Odyssey app, or anywhere else podcasts are found. Thanks for listening to Fantasy Baseball Today in 5, and we'll be back again tomorrow. Bye-bye. 